Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can access the options in Word to change operational aspects of the application. Note that changing the default options in Word can change the default behavior of the program and therefore should only be performed by advanced users who thoroughly understand the options. In this lesson, we'll review some of the most commonly used options in Word. Some of these options have already been discussed at various points in the tutorial in the context of their use within the application. You can access the default options in Word by clicking the Microsoft Office button and then clicking the Word Options button in the lower right corner of the command panel. That will open the Word Options dialog box. In this dialog box, you begin by clicking on the name of an option category shown in the list of categories at the left side of the window. The options that can be set for the selected category will appear in the right pane. Note that many of the options are self-explanatory. However, some of the options that may need some explanation appear with a small I next to their name. If you hold your mouse pointer over the I icon, a screen tip will appear that gives you a bit more information on the use of that particular option. If you click the popular category, you will see some of the most frequently changed options in Word displayed at the right side of this window. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes shown to enable or disable the features displayed. Also, you can customize your copy of Word by entering your username and initials into the username and initials text boxes provided. If you click the display category, you will see options that allow you to change how Word displays the contents of your documents. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes here to enable or disable the display of on-screen page options, on-screen special characters, or printed page options. If you click the proofing category, you'll see the default proofing options. As you saw in the chapter on using the spelling and grammar tool from Introductory Word, these options control the behavior of tools such as autocorrect and the spelling and grammar tool. Once again, you check or uncheck the options here to change the settings used by these tools when proofing document content. If you click the Save category, you will see options that allow you to change how documents are saved by default in Word. These options may be accessed more often than before in Word 2007 since it uses a new default file format when saving documents. In the Save Documents section, you can use the Save Files in this Format drop-down to set the default document format to use when saving Word files. You can also set the default behavior of the Auto Recover feature, choosing how often this information is saved and where the information is saved. Also, when saving your documents, you can set a new default folder to which you can save the documents by clicking the Browse button at the right end of the Default File Location text box. This will open the Modify Location dialog box where you can browse to the new default folder into which you want to save your documents. Once you've selected the folder, just click the OK button to set the new default and return to the Word Options dialog box. If you select the Advanced category, you'll see many of the advanced options for all categories. Each set of advanced options is grouped together by subcategory at the right side of this panel. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes to enable or disable the features shown in each section. Now once you've set all of your Word options that you would like, just click the OK button to set the new default options for Word. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.